This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Let's take a look at five financial instruments to watch this week. We'll start with JP Morgan. JP Morgan reports earnings this week, and it's the best performing bank stock. Now, there's no resistance back here because the stock has been trading in all time highs for a number of years. So it came up to a new high here in around June, and it's just broken out to a new high uh, here in October. Uh, now, if the stock can follow through after earnings and with rising interest rates, that's good for banks. We could get a nice thrust up towards the 200 level in the fourth quarter. Moving on, uh, Bitcoin is starting to reach a very, very important um, resistance level, and that's a 786 resistance uh, created by the sell-off uh, during the second quarter. Now, when it gets up to this level, this level is known as the place that rallies go to die, the 786. We could very easily get a turnaround here and a pullback all the way to this 50-day moving average somewhere between 45 and 50. So it could be a much better short sale than long position in coming weeks. But you do have to wait for a reversal right up here, uh, probably above the 55,000 level. Next uh, instrument we're looking at is going to be Moderna, which was a very strong stock in 2020. And it actually performed very well in 2021 until about August when it topped out near the 500 level. Posted a lower high right here and that completed this Adam and Eve uh, double top breakdown and is very rapidly reaching this unfilled gap right here around 260, which is aligned with the 200 day moving average. Now, the combination of these two uh, these two instruments here, uh, these two levels here, uh, suggests that we're going to get a very strong bounce somewhere between 250 and 270. Perhaps it takes us all the way back to this gap at 350, so it could be a very nice trade. Now, if you take a look at the Select Sector Energy uh, ETF, you would never guess that crude oil, WTI crude oil, just crossed $80 a barrel uh, because of the ongoing debate about the abandonment of fossil fuel companies and the move towards alternative energy. The problem is it's going to take years to replace um, fossil fuels with alternative energy, and the world's not going to wait. The world uh, has a huge demand for energy, and it may not be filled by um, crude oil the way it was in the past because of all the pressure to slow down production. Now that's very good for uh, stock prices and very good for commodity prices. We could see crude oil very easily go into triple digits, perhaps even up to $200 in the next few years as it becomes more and more scarce. Now that should translate into windfall profits for those producers uh, still uh, making the uh, uh, making fossil fuels. And so XLE, which is way below its all-time high, could really take off and join uh, the commodity at new highs in coming years. Finally, let's look at Facebook, which is hated by almost everyone, but Facebook is rapidly approaching support. It got to the 200-day moving average early last week and got down to this three-point trend line. Now, I'd rather see a trend line with uh, four points, but we got a three-point trend line, so I think we're going to get some testing here. If you take a look back, here we have a test of the 200-day moving average successful. Here's a test was successful, and here's a test that was successful. So I think we're going to get a bounce here, perhaps up to the 50-day moving average around 350. So limited profit, but it may be very nice profit or a fairly decent percentage trade.